called carrot cake. It's amazingly delicious guys and super moist and in this video I'll also show you the techniques you'll need to achieve that beautiful bakery style look. So we're going to start with the carrots. Not only do I grate mine, but I do like to process them in a food processor. This step is completely optional. It's just personal preference whether you want to see carrots or not in the actual cake. This is, however, a great idea if you have picky kids like my nephew. I've also added some oil, butter, and vanilla, and you want to pulse this for around five to 10 seconds. Add this carrot mixture to your mixing bowl along with some sugar. You want to use brown sugar because it will give this cake great and extra flavor. You're also going to add the eggs, and if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and click the bell. I post new videos every week. Once you've mixed all the wet ingredients, you can add the dry ingredients, which which I have sifted prior to filming this video. You always want to sift the dry ingredients, especially if you're mixing the batter by hand, it's just so much easier. Transfer your batter in two or three cake pans, buttered, floured, and lined with parchment paper. Keep in mind, I always use seven inch pans, so if your pans are bigger than mine, you may want to double this recipe. Bake the cakes in a preheated oven at 160 degrees Celsius or 320 Fahrenheit for around 18 to 20 minutes. If you've only made two cake layers, the cakes will take more time to bake. If your oven is big enough, you can bake all three together or bake the first two and then the final one. Allow these to cool for 10 minutes and then turn them over and let them cool completely. Okay, so while those are cooling, I'm going to show you how to make those adorable fondant carrots, which are super simple to make. You're going to take some orange colored fondant and form some balls basically. I don't like to say that, but, you know, form the balls, okay? I personally like to make them roughly the same size, but again, it's personal preference. You're going to take one of the fondant pieces and roll it between your hands, forming a carrot shape. You'll need to apply more pressure onto one end of your fondant piece, which will be the tip of your carrot. This is pretty self-explanatory, guys, and you'll find this method to be super simple, and it will come quite natural to you. Once you've formed your carrots and you're quite happy with them, you're going to take anything you can poke a hole with. I'm using a candle holder, a toothpick works fine. Get creative, work with what you have guys. You're going to poke some holes onto the ends where the carrot tops will go. You're then going to take a knife and form some small indentations along your carrots. You don't need to be precise here guys. Actually, the more rough you make these, the better they'll look. Okay, so onto making the carrot tops. Take some green fondant and you want to roll it pretty thinly. You're going to fold it and pinch the end and insert this into the hole that we made before. Press it tightly and you can kind of shape it and move it around as you prefer and you'll have the most adorable adorable carrots ever. Okay, so we're ready to assemble the cake. Don't mind my wobbly turntable. It was the only one available that day. I couldn't find the one that I usually use. I know you're thinking, how can you lose a turntable? Apparently, <laughs> it's possible, okay? <laughs> so carrot cake wants cream cheese frosting. If you'd like to learn how to make the most delicious, creamy, and most importantly, firm cream cheese frosting, perfect for frosting cakes, I'll leave the video link in the description box below. If you've ever made cream cheese frosting, you know that sometimes it can be quite runny and too soft, not this one. It's important you understand how to make a firm cream cheese frosting, especially for this cake. Otherwise, if your frosting is too loose and too soft, the cake design that I'm going to show you in just a moment will not work. You're going to apply a generous amount of frosting because most of it will be scraped off anyway. I like to do a crumb coat and then the final coat. I've shown you in the past my method to applying frosting and getting smooth sides but do not stress you just want to make sure that the final coat is as smooth as possible so take your time once you're happy with the size of your cake you're going to use a cake comb like this one they're really inexpensive and you can find them anywhere it's an excellent way guys to add detail to your cake while keeping the cake simple and modern just like the ones you see in bakeries my advice to you is to be gentle when using a cake comb just so you get comfortable using this tool otherwise you may scrape off too much
too much frosting. And remember, for every cake turn, to clean off the coat. Place the carrots on top however you please. You can even do some rosettes if you'd like. And I do also like to add some chopped nuts. Now, if you're curious to see the Italian version of this carrot cake that we make here in Italy, I'll leave a link. You guys, this is one of the softest, one of the most delicious carrot cakes you'll ever have. Let's take a moment to appreciate the crumb of this cake. It's so moist and the combination of the cake with that cream cheese frosting tastes heavenly. Hey guys, today we're making the most incredible 